What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, she just went down. Let me show you what happened. So I'm actually dressed properly. You know, over here out in the interview. And um, you know, as I was leaving the parking structure here, something very particular happened that I was not expecting at all. And this is what happened. So as, right as I was, you know, coming out of the parking structure here, luckily I'm still am in the parking structure. My front lower ball joint snapped, which I literally just replaced. So you just felt like a crack and it was literally on it. So the whole suspension is on the wheel. Yeah, so that's how my day is going so far. And I have to wait an hour for Triple H to get here, more than an hour. So it should be fun, good times. So it kind of just goes to show that um, I should have just probably went OEM on the ball joints, maybe? I don't know. But it uh, very irritating because I was definitely looking forward to going back home today, sometime soon. But now I have to do with this, and hopefully the tow truck doesn't damage it more. Good times, good times for sure. All right, so we're here next day, checking on the car. Let me show you the wheel real quick. Thankfully, no, no penetration or complete penetration, although it's deep scratch for sure. Scratches, like gouges more than scratches to be honest but i mean oh i think maybe the where is it the will weights one oh yeah it's just this one's pretty deep but thankfully hopefully it looks like there's no penetration i'm uh, pretty sure it'll it still holds air so that's good something i have to i don't have to worry about But yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna have to replace those arms again, those arms again, because pretty much it's broke. I already showed you guys how, how to do this, so I'm gonna knock this one out. Actually, I gotta go find the parts first. Hopefully, they have them in stock right here locally. I don't wanna deal with online and you know, waiting for days for the parts to come by or come in. So hopefully, they have them in stock right now. So I can go ahead and knock this out real quick and have a working car again, because I definitely need a working car. Right, so, next day, I just finished replacing the driver's side, which is this one. Luckily I did, over here on the passenger side, and it's all good now, everything's torqued, it's back. So it's the other side, and here was a problem. Thankfully, I replaced both of them. And uh, I'm not sure where the parts, the old parts that I took off, or the new old parts that I took off. But uh, they were good. They, I, I thought they had broken off from like from the, the thread area or something, but they weren't broken. It turns out, and you know, these things are hard to admit, but you know, it's okay. It happens, you know? I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't have liked it to happen because it was pretty sketchy for sure. But the truth is, what happened was what had happened was that I over tightened the shit out of it. Apparently, I guess you know I went a little too. I gave it a little too many uggadugas <laughs> with that big ass uh, impact gun, and you know I just stripped the nut. Like the threads are on the. On the ball joint side were all good, they were solid, but the the threads on the, the nut, the castle nut, they were just stripped. So that's what happened. I guess, you know, with the gravity, you know, since the car is on the ground, the whole suspension just pushed up all from like the wheel. And it just it just it came off the whole hub or I don't know what you wanna call it. Yeah, like I think it's just the whole suspension just came off, basically. That's what had happened. 
so you know just live and learn you know you live and learn thankfully it happened to my car shit like this happens and it's just part of the learning process you know i can't blame anyone but myself in this in this situation you know and that's okay and that's okay you know i'm confident enough you know to be able to do that you know have i don't have a big ass ego you know blaming the part or or the castle not for being you know cheap or whatever although it might be the case or not you know that's neither here there nor there but in this case, you know, uh, I'm willing to take the blame and, you know, I didn't I didn't use the torque specs the first time around. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You know, we lived through it. We learned again, which is the most important part. And, you know, next time. And, you know, which is why I'm giving you all this story. You know, and this, this is the reason why torque specs are important. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, you know. You have that. That's the risk, you know. You over, you over tighten stuff or you know you don't tighten stuff enough and there's consequences but, you know unfortunately all right so uh, with that you know news out of the way now that i have the parts i'm you know installed everything is good it seems to be good the only thing i i noticed when i took off the passenger side wheel the the one that was bad you know the one that you know <laughs> the accident happened i did notice that uh the brake shield kind of uh it dug into the the wheel and you know it's like i showed you guys you know it, it has some gashes but it also just pretty much just scooped up the wheel weights so now i have to balance the wheel it's just one of those things i could probably go go without it for a few days but i just want to get it done just get over with and move on you know it's the weekend so hopefully we find something open right now first i want to test drive it to see if any there's no funny business going on before i take it to go to get the wheel balanced but i mean it should be good we should be good we should be good to go to the shop you know uh, find someone to balance the wheel for me real quick and after that you know onto something else finally back from the shop you know, we got the wheel and tire balance, the car's ready to go. And this, uh, I know for sure, you know, this is a different kind of video. You, you don't see these types of video, you know, so often about not what to do or the problems, of, you know, how things go wrong. But hopefully, you know, you guys can learn from my experience. In this case, you know, it, was, it could have been pretty bad, but thankfully again, no one got hurt. It's just, you know, things to consider, things you learn along the way people they don't show this but you know it's things that do happen unfortunately but you know i was the unlucky one this time hopefully this teaches someone out there you know if it's at least one person you know that can be big potentially you know you can save someone's life probably with that being said make sure to follow instagram Los Vera. personal pages they're on there cop some merch why not show some love you know, drop a comment, like the video if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe for future content. With that being said, see you guys next time. Peace.